News 3 HD this morning. Actress Natasha Richardson is being remembered after her tragic death earlier this week. Broadway's uh, lights are, were dim last night to honor the uh, Tony Award winner who died from head injuries suffered after a skiing accident. She was only 45 and is survived by her husband, actor uh, Liam Neeson, two sons, and her mother, Vanessa Redgrave. An autopsy uh, reveals that uh, Natasha Richardson suffered uh, blunt trauma to the back of her head. She was uh, hurt while taking a private ski lesson on a beginner's slope at a, a ski resort near Montreal. She was not wearing a helmet. Her uh, family says she seemed fine at first. She was even laughing about what had happened. Joining us this morning with more information about head injuries is Dr. Michael Foley, an emergency room physician at St. Mary's. There's a lot of times when people fall, they bang their head, just like, like she did, and she was fine. Mm -hmm. and refused medical attention. At what point, cause, you know, we were talking about it before, sometimes you want to be like, well, if I go to the doctor, are they going to laugh at me and think, oh, you're being, you know, too, too overconscious about this. What, what, what are your suggestions? Uh, first of all, it's very common. Um, something that we need to uh, recognize is that people do have head injuries almost on a daily basis, especially young, active uh, uh, people. Um, we never discourage people from coming in if they have questions uh, about their uh, child or loved one. Um, sometimes it's just uh, peace of mind, but uh, other things to recognize are uh, if they're not acting right, if they've, uh, they want to know if they've had a concussion, uh, other injuries such as their neck can be injured at the same time as their head, so there's, there are good reasons to come in right away, uh, pre-existing medical conditions and sort of extremes of age. Uh, uh, are good reasons. It doesn't seem to take much to suffer a head injury, be it uh, you know a fatal or perhaps just a, a, a I don't mean just a concussion, but because that's very serious too. It doesn't seem to take much of a much of a bump, does it? No, I mean in fact most people end up with what we call minor uh, head injuries uh, or concussions. Mm -hmm. It's unlikely to become a fatal event, but that's exactly the, the window that you want to be uh, very cognizant about what to look for. The first 24 hours, if something's going to happen, that's when it's going to happen. And typically most uh, head injured people that do go on to have uh, a worsening injury have what they call a lucid period, mm -hmm. you know, one to two hours where they're doing fairly well. Um, so that expectation of they're doing well after the accident mm -hmm. um, is not a good sign that uh, you can just uh, let things go and not pay attention to them over the next 24 hours. So what are the signs that people should be looking for? Um, initially, um, I like to, in the emergency department, see patients that have other injuries besides just their head. So if they broke their leg, you might have a, dis a distracting injury that uh, prevents you from really looking at the signs of head injury. Um, if they've lost consciousness, um, what period of time or over what period of time that was. Um, anything greater than probably five minutes, we start to uh, wish that you would come in and maybe be evaluated. Um, uh, vom nausea and vomiting are a big thing. Headaches develop, but that can be common even with a minor head injury. But any time they are, have came, come back to their baseline and are acting normal and then start to deteriorate from then. As a physician, would you hope the, the lesson from this is that people start wearing helmets, skiing, biking? Helmet, helmets. They, helmet. say now, hel they say now that helmets will become cool. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, helmets are very important. Uh, we've seen, uh, I've seen a lot of people in the emergency department in helmets that uh, walk out and they never have a problem. Mm -hmm. It's hard to quantify how many, if they wouldn't have had helmets, mm -hmm. would have had a problem. But even one out of a thousand of a young individual that does not have a closed head injury or, or a severe brain injury after a fall or a skiing accident is worth it. Okay, thank you very much for no. joining us this morning. You're it's welcome. Thanks, doctor. Thank you.